Anastasia, I was about your age when Slava and I were forced to part, but Uriel has a choice. Slava didn't. We were living on borrowed time from the dragons. But Father still loved you. Every time he looked at Sandor, it was as if he were looking through him to someone else. Slava followed his heart, Anastasia. He did what was best for everyone, and he raised our son at the court of a duchy. He loved your mother. That was hard for me, seeing his eyes melt whenever Kate came to him. Uriel could never love me like this. Just look at what I've become. The castle of life is built with bricks made up of precious moments. All I shared with Slava made me a better woman. If Uriel and you are meant to live a long life together, let it happen one day at a time. Only the dragons know the future. Ah! Say hello to Sandor for me. I... I want him to know that I miss him. I will tell him when I find him. I'm in your debt for freeing me from the Inquisition. If I hadn't, Sandor would have eventually. Or died trying. I'm doubly grateful. Now go and find your angel and give him a kiss. A long kiss you'll both remember for a lifetime.
You've requested an audience with the Mother Namtaru. I suggest you start by telling her that your niece has invaded the Falcon Empire with an army of the undead. Oh, and that Liam is more than likely to declare war on the necromancers of the Seven Cities. That should get her attention. They're taking prisoners, defiling them. We had to put a stop to it. Oh, yes, I nearly forgot. Oliver Shawn is looking for the faceless traitor Jorgen and the crazy Lady Elizabeth, who have miraculously escaped Falcon custody. But wait, we know where they are. We've got them right outside our door. The Mother Namtaru will be thrilled. Miranda, this is not Anastasia's fault. Someone is maneuvering to revive the war between the Angels and the Faceless. If you don't believe me, talk to Jorgen. I have. He speaks in riddles. Questioning your niece seems a little less complicated. She doesn't remember anything. Her memories have been erased. I talked to Elizabeth, and she knows nothing of a plot to kill Slava. I must see the mother Namtaru. Perhaps she can find the answers in my mind. I must commune with her first. If she agrees, I'll send for you. I would like you to come with me, Miranda. The mother Namtaru appreciates you as much as me. How nice of you. If she's in the mood to turn us into ghouls, at least we'll be able to drool on each other's shoulders in consolation. Oh, but what am I thinking? I can't go. There's the wizard Casper who's traveled so far to meet me. Ah! Ooh, I jest, Bluebeak. Of course I'm going. Anastasia, please show that gentle alchemist around for me while I go and try to get your aunt out of the web she spun around us. Hi, Priestess Feltana is waiting for you in Naharesh, Priestess Anastasia.
the cult of the Spider Queen well. You should be the one giving me a tour of Naharesh. Where did you study? Shahibdia. For two decades. The city where magic never sleeps. And then I traveled. Recolting ingredients for my potions and balms takes me everywhere. You've learned the art of healing without calling on the power of Elrath. I was born in the Wolf Duchy and brought up with a statue of the Dragon of Light on our hearth. My passion for potions took me to the Seven Cities, where the dragons have become more concepts than gods. I'd learned there how to manipulate the power of light without praying to Elrath. Miranda said you've chosen to follow the Spider Queen. Do you consider the Mother Namturu simply a concept? The dragons are real for me. I've come to admire Asha more than any of them. Her creation is fascinating, her magic is everywhere, and the regenerating cycle of life and death, her masterpiece. We wizards of the Seven Cities have great power, and our creations are magnificent, but unconstrained by respect for Asha. It all leads ultimately to despair. If the wizards hadn't created the orcs, the demons would have destroyed us centuries ago. Ah, I see you know your Ashan history, but let me ask you this. Do the orcs have souls? And if you agree that they do, who created them? Ah, ah! Excuse me, Wizard Caspar. I've been summoned by the Mother Namturu.